Hi guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Object 268. Now this is my new toy. Like I've, I've not played too many games in it, but I've only unlocked it very recently. Um, the Object 704 is one of those tanks that I do quite enjoy playing. It's very situational. Uh, but the, I have, I've had the grind on for a very long time and I just used to play it once in a blue moon basically. Um, so recently I just unlocked this uh, and I think this was my very first game in it and I'm currently with Turkey and Swindle um, and I'm just going to see what I can do in it basically. Um, now I know what I'm like when I play a tank. Usually I have a first game of a tank and it seems to be really good and then I play it and I go yes this tank love it gonna play it forever more and then obviously play more and it doesn't go to that well. It's happened a little bit with the 268 because the gun handling on it is terrible at times. But then I really do still enjoy it. It's big boomstick and everyone loves a big boomstick. 922. Oh, set him on fire. 1300 in one shot. That's just, you can't beat that. You can't. It's like injected into the bait. It's great. You know? Who doesn't love a big boomstick? So now we've got this E4, we've got gun depression problems, but who cares about that? Slams it in, 923. The reload's great. Boomstick's great. Like, this tank's fun. T49 next. Bye, mate. See you later. Pop back. Reload. See what we, see what we can do. They've got a lot of TDs in this setup as well. So there's going to be a lot down in their base, probably. I am... Uh, slightly worried about that because basically people from their cap can shoot you here. Uh, I have got rocks on my right that cover me from that a little bit. But uh, right now it's kind of looking at going, well, there's not many people here, so let's, you know, let's progress. Spock, where else would you take your T 57 heavy? I mean, right. And uh, yeah, 1024. <laughs> When did I become a Yag Panzer? Um, yeah, that one unfortunately just tracks it only, but you know, I'll take it a hit. It's quite unlikely. So we're going to progress up now to this this area here because we can shoot down on their base quite well from here uh, without it. Uh, hopefully that E5 will pop out, but it doesn't. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take it to this little spot here, get some nice shots at people. Uh, so I go here aggressively, try and snap shot on the T-470, never, it doesn't work. It'd have to be a miracle of um, miracle of RNG, really, for me to hit that. And, uh, yeah, so now we can start working on these guys down here. Got a nice shot at the cold wave, 944. <laughs> There's a Yag Panzer down there, that's scary. This boomstick is great. How hard do you hit with it? Also, 666 spotted. Do -do -do -do. You know, do, 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 do. devil's here. Don't worry. We got tagged by that Conway with the big gun before he went down, so we know we've got you know not much hit points left. Um, we're just gonna try and see if we can angle for shots on this Death Star. Luckily, he pulls back, so we get it. Seven and forty. It's nice. Um, next, we've got a waffle Panzer front. The Agpans just try and shoot. The Agpans is Hardly sat in the open. If we get spotted here, we could blap us quite easily, but we're going to try and go for a superstructure. Flies right in because this pen on this gun is great. So we have no problem with the superstructure of the uh, Jagdpanzer. Um, it, it's not always a guaranteed pen. It might bounce like that, which is why we switched to heat to guarantee the pen. We need to get rid of him because he's dangerous to us. Well, he's dangerous to everyone, let's be honest. Um, but, you know, particularly if we get spotted where we are, he's going to kill us. So, heat round straight through the superstructure. Easy peasy. He's dead. I have no faith, really, in hitting this Waffle Panzer IV. Swindle and Turkey are just going to clean him up. And uh, <laughs> the first game we play in it, we've got 8k combined, 7.5k raw damage. Couldn't have gone any better. Um, very nice game. Very enjoyable. I'm sitting here going, this tank's great. I love this. I need to play this more. Um, <laughs> at that point, Turkey's like, what? "How did you? How did you get seven and a half k? Just magic, Russia, 
Russia there, yeah. Power of Russian 152 boomsticks. Um, clean, it helps you clean up every time. So, that was a, you know, that's a nice result. Then we've got this game. This game was quite recently and with Good Cat and Zorin right now. Um, and we're on Fjords. Now, I have no real clue where I wanted to take this at this point. I'm looking at this map going, where, where do I want to go? Do I want to go to the middle? Probably not. Get arted. Right, okay. I'll, where are you two going? Oh, you're going up north. Oh, I'm going with you. Screw it. Let's go up north. See what we can shoot. Um, and hopefully people will line up and take my big boomstick shells because it's very nice. It's very it's just satisfying to hit people with this gun, generally. Um, most of the time if you hit someone you, you're pretty likely going to pen. Like, you've got amazing penetration. Um, like, obviously you've got 850 alpha, which is great, which you can roll really high, like you've seen in the last game, like 1,020 something. Something, you know, like... That's, that's amazing to have, generally. Um, so right now I'm thinking, do I go down towards where this light tank is? Mm, you know what? Even even though this doesn't have that great gun depression, let's go up here and see what we can do from this little climb up here. Um, because you get nice shots down on people, and you can just... not. But most of the time you can go up here and shoot people and they don't look at you. Uh, so now we're up. We're going to try to get a nice shot into this FE4202. The uh, <laughs> armor holds up for us there, and the Conqueror bounces, uh, which is quite nice. Get the reload in, and we're thinking, let's pop another one into this FV. But he pulls back, and uh, the Conqueror happily just sits and takes it. It's very nice. Uh, Artie <laughs> tries. I don't know if that was aimed at us or the M46 pattern, but uh, he misses me anyway. Thank goodness. And uh, this Conqueror is going to get shut down. He shouldn't have shot me earlier on. It's his own fault for dying there, to be honest. Um, and right now, this is a perfect scenario. They're just staying there, letting us shoot them. And uh, we get a nice shot on this E50 right through his upper plate. Artillery fires a shot in again. Hits both of those guys. Gets like 1,300 damage or something from two guys in one shot. It's filth. And... Uh, Looking for a shot on that at 705A, but I just I don't think he'll poke out enough to give us one to be honest. Um, yeah. So right, I'm thinking, right, okay, he's not gonna drop down. Yeah, he's not gonna pull out enough, I don't think. I it's hoping beyond hope right now, and then that's why I decide, you know what, screw it. I need to go. Um, unfortunately, he gets set on fire there, which is not helpful. And I'm thinking, oh, you know what, I'll pop a shot through this guy's turret. No, it ricochets. And the Super Conqueror unfortunately put a shot into him. We repair the tracks, and of course, the FV retracts us straight away. Um, I mean, the FV bounces, but he gets lucky in two ways there, in the fact that I'm not reloaded in time to shoot him, and then that happens. Um... But now the Super Conqueror is alone with this 705A on our right. I'm thinking, you know what, we need to get rid of this guy, so I'm going to pop a shot and he fortunately turns. We bounce on his Capola. The Super Conqueror of Capola is a, a, a shot that we, you know, we're never always going to pen, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm like, you know what, I'll pull out here and I'll get a shot at his lower plate, he dies anyway. Good catch, shuts him down. And uh, it's time to move on this 705A, and I'm like, yeah, right, okay. Let's pop some shots into him. Very lucky with the RNG on that one. Get a good shot into him. I know that I can take a hit from this guy. I'm thinking, oh, you know what? He's going to turn to follow them. No. No, he doesn't. And at this moment here, we get incredibly lucky. Um, artillery smacks us for half the health I had left. 500 odd. And that meant that the um, 705A could have killed me. He could have killed me because he's got 650 alpha. But fortunately enough, the M46 pattern drives in the way and takes the hit. So it means we can go on to fight another day. So look who now, thanks to that nice bit of RNG really, um, we get to go shut down the E100. And we've got to advance down onto these guys and hopefully stop them. Because they could now quite easily go for our cap. And we want to stop that if we can. 
I'm hoping the T5 will drive out directly in front, which he does, and we get a nice side shot on him. Unfortunately, tracks only. Uh, of course, because that's all it was going to do, clearly. Uh, but he's got a terrible crew, and we managed to shut him down. Um, the Sheridan tries to pop a shot at us, but it misses, thankfully. Um, and we're thinking, hopefully, he'll again he'll pop out, but he just gets away with it. It's very jammy there, to be honest. Um, there is still the four down there, which is what I was checking there to make sure to see if he was still alive. He is, which means he's a danger because he can kill us quite easily, can pen us very easily. We get outspotted by him. I think possibly the Sheridan coming up on the left um, and spots us in passing. Oh, he's possibly coming through the buildings. But this E4 is trained on us. We, we're not getting rid of that light. Yeah, again, when the Crown Vaughn's shutting down. So now the, the light tank's buggered off. Um, there's only the Sheridan I3 and LTTB in the cap. So right now, I'm, especially with the heavy tank being spotted down there, I know it's the LTTB in the cap. Um, we need to get down, shut him down. Um, and right now, I've just forgot. There's basically a hill there that means he's hidden behind the hill. We can't shoot that. And so let's just keep charging. Hopefully he won't run off up the nine line because then we will never catch him. Um, he panics a little bit when we spot him. He tries to go around. And of course the RVRT shot hits the side of his turret and ricochets away. Like, that is so lucky. That should pen every day of the week, but angles, but it ricochets. Now, we know the last known place this... LTTB was in is their cap. Um, is their cap after shutting down our medium tank that was in their base? Luckily, the medium tank had shut down the I3, so we've only got to deal with the Sheridan. Um, and me and the Cran are like, you know, we've clearly made the decision let's go towards their cap. If he's not there, we'll cap ourselves. Um, or at least I'm, that's what I'm hoping. That's what my plan is. I'm hoping the Cran will follow me and do that. Um, and we'll see what happens, really. Uh, the Sherry is quick, so he could run off. Of, you know, he could have run off in any which way and how. Um, I expect him to run off up the A B line, basically. Um, I'm trying to signal to this guy, please come help me this way. Don't go down south. Just come with me. Come to the cap, and this is where we'll stay. Because there's no. You know, there's no point in chasing the light tank around the map. No point at all. It, it could be absolutely anywhere. We'd just be wasting time. Um, and this is the best thing. I think he'll be coming from this direction. Well, that's where I'd expect him to come from. But then the other guys in the tune tell me, Cranborn's also looking this way. Which means that <laughs> if the light tank was to caught behind us, then we'd both be looking the wrong way. So I'm like, okay... You know, this crown bomb can cover this way, and luckily he stays looking that way. Um, he can look that way, and I'll look this way. You know, then we've got both areas covered in case he does come and try and surprise us. We've nearly capped now. Um, the light tank seems to be nowhere to be seen, but then he pops up behind us. He pops up exactly where I thought he'd pop up, and the crown bomb snaps a shot in. RNG says, "There you go. There's your top gun lock. Easy peasy." Uh, and that's six, six and a half k damage. And Six kills. Very nicely done in that game. Thankfully the Cram Vaughan helped us in that way as well. And yeah, that's the Ace Tanker. High caliber, top gun ace. Uh, nice amount of XP, 15k XP, although that doesn't really matter too much on uh, tier 10. Uh, block 17 and a half K as well, which is nice. Uh, it was five times a weekend, that's why I bounced on, did that on it as well. Um yeah, it's generally quite a nice game. We hit 13 out of 14 and again with this gun, which is quite nice. But thanks for watching, everybody.